All right, today I'm going to show you guys my collection of uh, one six scale Batman figures that I have in uh, right here. Uh, let's see, one is uh, two is missing. One is the Demon Batman, which is uh, in its box. I can't uh, get to it at the moment. And the other one is the Medicom one six scale uh, Hush Batman. Now that one's also uh, packed away. Uh, so right now I have all these to show you guys and uh, let's go through them one by one All right, so let's start off with a 1966 uh, Batman from the TV series and this is Adam West Batman and uh, here you can see he is very very skinny uh, the arms are skinny, but the uh, body is kind of pudgy and uh, That's how he looked uh, in the TV show and in the movie the reason I bought this Batman is because uh, I really did enjoy the show. Uh, it's pretty funny. I bought it on Blu-ray and I uh, found this uh, show to be very, very funny. And uh, here, one thing that I really like about this Batman is that he comes with quite a lot of accessories. And uh, I believe there are three mouthpieces, uh, interchangeable mouthpieces that you could give him. And uh, it comes with a array of accessories and uh, a bunch of hands. So this is uh, one that I enjoy uh, messing with uh, quite a bit and uh, taking silly photos with. And one thing I really didn't like about this Batman is the suit. Uh, it is uh, very, uh, the stitchings are very, very fine and uh, it tends to snag on stuff uh, quite easily. Here you can see uh, the fabric here, there are some stitching problems here. Uh, I believe it might have been caused by me uh, messing with it too much. And then uh, I believe there is another, oh yeah, right here on the thigh area, right there. There's a little stitching problems. And so yeah, this figure is cool to look at, but uh, it's definitely not a good figure to mess with because um, of the suit. And next up, we have 1989 Batman. This is Michael Keaton Batman in his black outfit. And uh, I believe this is a DX figure. And I really enjoy this figure because how good he looks. And here you could definitely see uh, the likeness of uh, Michael Keaton under that mask, under that cowl. And uh, the bodysuit is. Uh, kind of rough. Uh, that's how he looked uh, in the film. So they actually captured it quite nicely. And uh, same with the cow. And uh, this is the first time that they did this to the cow where there's an opening in the back, which I never did like because uh, it does uh, it does ruin, ruin the design of the cow quite a bit when you turn him around or even sideways. You could, you could definitely see the seam right there. And uh, this figure does have uh, moving eyes. Uh, that's why they decided to do it this way. I I wish they would have done it uh, from underneath the cow where you could just pop the head off and then uh, adjust the eyes instead of having the back of the helmet opened up like that, which is uh, not pleasing to look at. And uh, one thing I switched out uh, from this Batman, it's the cape. I didn't like the cape at all. Uh, wasn't the texture wasn't? I mean, the design is uh, pretty accurate and the pattern is pretty accurate, but then it doesn't flow properly. So uh, I went ahead and uh, switched it out with something else. Uh, what this cape is is from the um, Sideshow Batman, uh, the Sideshow comic version Batman, and uh, it has a very nice um, looking cape. So I decided to put this uh, on him instead. And, uh, yeah, I bought the cape off eBay. And uh, it turned out pretty nice. I'm, I'm very happy with it, how it turned out. And uh, and one thing, I, another thing that I don't like about this Batman, it's uh, how limited uh, his range of motion is. Uh, understandable because uh, he is wearing, wearing a uh, rubber suit and uh, it is sculpted to a standing position so uh, it's kind of hard to pose him but uh, if we have gotten a body that's stiffer 
uh, it would have been better because uh, right now he could barely hold a pulse. No, actually he cannot hold a pulse. Uh, the arms are really loose. Both of the elbow joints are really, I mean, uh, yeah, elbow joints are really loose. And same with the knee joints, they are really, really loose. Uh, he can't even bend in a 90 degree and stay put that way. And uh, there's basically no articulation uh, around the hips because of the way they sculpted this uh, suit here. And next up is my all-time favorite Batman. It's the 1992 Michael Keaton Batman. Now this is absolutely my favorite, uh, favorite suit out of all the Batmans, even the ones now, or any of the future ones, I guess. Uh, well, we haven't seen all of them yet, but uh, even the Don, I mean, even the Justice League one, uh, um, I still prefer this the most uh, because of how nice that cow is. Just look at those lines, they are silky smooth. And the the body is sculpted nicely. And uh, the suit itself, it's the material is a little thinner than the 89 Batman, so he is able to do a few poses. Not a lot, but uh, still because he is a, uh, he is wearing a rubber suit and with this uh, Batman I also replaced the cape I uh, wasn't liking the one that came with this Batman and uh, yeah it just didn't look right and it doesn't flow uh, properly so again I decided to get another cape and uh, this is also from the SciShow uh, comic version of Batman so I put this one on him as well, and uh, this one also has that opening on the back of his cowl, which it's a little better. Uh, you could barely see the seams. Well, here you could you could definitely see the seams, but uh, not as bad as the '89 Batman one. Uh, still, I would prefer um, being able to adjust the eyes and switch out the mouth from underneath the cowl instead of the back of the head which is quite annoying to look at if I ever turn him around which I do sometimes and uh, but uh, yeah from up front uh, you could you you cannot see that uh, piece at all and uh, definitely my favorite Batman out of all of them love those pointy ears yeah my favorite all right next up we have the Christian Bale Batman this is uh, based off of Batman Begins his uh, first suit uh, out of the, th uh, the trilogy and uh, this came with um, the Bruce Wayne head sculpt and also the harness uh, when he was using before he put on the actual Batman suit and uh, with this figure I also replaced the cape because uh, I know f uh, the film uses a velvet like material for his, uh, for his cape and uh, since Hot Toys didn't give us a velvet cape, I decided to purchase the fabric myself and decided to trim out this uh, cape and uh, let him have it. And here you can see the cape drapes perfectly. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, yeah, drapes very nicely over a shoulder. I don't know, I believe uh, this version of Batman, uh, this this Hot Toys uh, came with uh, two other mouthpieces and a bunch of accessories uh, for, his, uh, for his utility belt and uh, the harness and all that other stuff. But the one thing that uh, I didn't like about this Batman, uh, not, not the suit, uh, the suit is great, it is really soft, uh, that rubber material uh, it works really well, but then uh, the ankle joints, uh, they are completely shattered. Uh, I'm not sure why this is happening. Uh, it could just be over time uh, these uh, plastic beginning to uh, break apart. Uh, yeah, those ankles are shattered. I can't even use them anymore, so he has to be on the stand, otherwise he'll just topple over. And uh, the elbow joints are still okay, not the greatest. Uh, I don't really remember how they were uh, initially, but uh, yeah, the angles are completely shattered. I think it is possible to replace them. 
uh, but uh, I haven't done it, so yeah. It's just on display, standing like so. Alright, next up, I decided to put this in the last minute, uh, even though this wasn't in the beginning, in the opening. I decided to put this bat suit here, and uh, it is the Batman Armory. It has a bat suit. Now, this bat suit, uh, initially, uh, well, I bought this uh, armory separate, uh, in separate pieces. Uh, the armory by itself, because I already have the bat suit, and I don't need another Batman or Bruce Wayne or Alfred. Uh, let me turn on the lights so you guys can see. And uh, this is the original bat suit from, uh, I believe, DX01 or 02, I'm not sure. Um, this was the one with all the issues with the abdomen section where it was leaking. Uh, they decided, uh, yeah, th the first batch, all of them were leaking. And then they decided to switch out into a, uh, using a hard plastic piece instead of the rubbery um, silicone like uh, material that they use uh, for DX for the original version so this is that bat suit and uh, it wasn't as accurate as the the other one I have which was a um, I believe that was a DX12 wait no that was I, I don't even remember which suit that was which I'll show in a sec now this bat suit um, it's uh, constructed constructed differently than the um, the newer version where this one it's uh, the arms and all that uh, that section right here is rubber and uh, the abdominal is plastic and the pants is uh, rubbery plastic and uh, yeah but uh, the newer one has an actual undersuit over uh, with uh, with armor plating over it while this one doesn't so yeah, this is that suit, and we can see some of the stuff uh, back there. That's included in this armory, which I very much enjoy looking at, and uh, the fact that it has lights makes it even better. And down here, there are more gadgets from the film, and a couple of... Uh, Sticky bomb guns. There's one right there. And there's one right here, and another one right here. So uh, with this armory, you get and you actually get four sticky bomb guns. There's one, two, three, and back there, fourth one. And here's a good look at some of the other accessories that uh, this armory comes with. A lot of canisters and stuff, and then we have. Uh, Grapnel guns, two. And then over on this side, another grapnel gun. And then uh, some grenades, some pouches, a bunch of batarangs, and more canisters and pouches. And then two utility belts. And there it is, all closed up. And I'll give you the light. Yeah, you can see in there. Kind of cool. And next up, we have the Dark Knight Returns Batman. And uh, I don't remember which version this is because I know they came up with so many Batmans uh, uh, from uh, Christian Bale's uh, films. Um, that was the one I just showed was the DX01 or 02, and then this is the next uh, iteration of the suit. And uh, I think there are three total, and this is the middle one, not the DX, uh, whatever it was, uh, that the last one that came out, which is the best one. Uh, this doesn't have the best uh, head sculpt, but uh, it's good enough for me. Uh, didn't feel like buying uh, a third suit, uh, it's not necessary. Uh, and uh, this one does have the cloth uh, undersuit. Here you can see the sleeves, there are folds right there, you can see. And uh, one thing a lot of people are complaining about this suit is uh, how much gap it has uh, between his uh, chest and the abdominal section where there's a huge gap right here. There's a huge gap right there in between here because uh, in the film this was tucked in way higher. And uh, yeah, but uh, this version doesn't, doesn't uh, have that. And uh, this does have a uh, magnetized head. And uh, you could easily take this off to switch out the 
of mouthpieces. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but in there there's a um, somewhat of a joystick where you can adjust the eyes um, together. And it just held on by magnets, which is awesome. And just like the Batman Begins uh, cape, I also switched this one out uh, with a velvet cape. I'm very surprised that uh, Hot Toys never did give us uh, velvet capes for these uh, Batmans that they made. Uh, they made so many versions of this uh, Christian Bale era of Batman and uh, none of them has a velvet cape. Uh, all the ones they gave us were really really bad so I decided because this is such an easy mod too. You just have to go to Joanne Fabric and uh, buy a, a yard of uh, a yard of that uh, uh, velvet cape a velvet material fabric and then uh, you just cut this out yourself uh, just use the the, the 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 cape that they provided and then use that as a, as the template and then just cut along the same lines and uh, there you go you don't even have to double stitch anything you just uh, trim this and then just let them wear it because uh, it doesn't really um, the stitching doesn't really come out uh, with this cape or with this material so I'm very happy with it that I didn't have to do any of the other stuff uh, where you have to you know, restitch it or anything like that because uh, that would be annoying that's something I wouldn't do uh, for for a cape but uh, here is just so easy to do just find a uh, yeah find a really soft velvet material uh, through any of the fabric store and just cut it out yourself easy Alright, next up I have the SciShow uh, comic series Batman and uh, this is a uh, 1-6 scale and yikes, look at that head sculpt. Uh, the, the cow is good but the mouthpiece, I wish they uh, sculpted a better mouthpiece for this uh, Batman. Uh, body proportion is great, uh, he's really really buff and uh, the body is nice and stiff. Uh, all the joints are nice, I think they um, developed this body all uh, from just for this line and uh, I believe uh, any of the muscular characters they're going to use this uh, body for it and uh, that's why this figure it's uh, sold out I believe because all the, all, all the people is just clamoring for this uh, body it is a really buff body and uh, articulation is nice on this uh, figure but uh, the the main thing is the the mouth the mouth really killed it I mean not in a good way, in a really bad way. Just look at that one. It's really, really bad. <clears throat> but uh, still, overall, um, I do enjoy this uh, figure. Uh, it has a great cape. Really flowy cape, uh, which I am very surprised. Well, I guess I, I shouldn't be, because uh, I... Um, I believe uh, Sideshow, uh, quite a few figures, they have really good capes, so that I'll give them. Uh, and uh, the suit itself, uh, it's really fine stitching, so uh, again, uh, with uh, just like the um, Adam West Batman, you're gonna, have, uh, you're gonna have to be really careful when you're moving this figure or touching it, touching uh, the suit, uh, because uh, the, the fabric does snag quite easily. And then I love the um, the fabric pouch that he has on, and uh, he is wearing a kryptonite ring. So yeah, this is uh, a decent yet uh, I'm I'm fairly okay with this Batman. And next up we have the Arkham Batman, and this is based off of the video game Arkham what Arkham Asylum. I believe this is the first. Uh, first Batman from the game and um, uh, one thing I really like about this Batman is the suit uh, it is very bulky he is really big and the head sculpt is uh, dead on dead on accurate to the game version but uh, one thing that I don't like is also because of the suit and uh, it is uh, well with all Batman they're all wearing rubber suits so articulation is going to be limited and uh, I believe uh, when we first saw uh, prototype photos uh, those uh, those pants are <laughs> that, that that speedo that he's wearing it's a lot thicker 
and a, a lot bulkier where it makes him look like he's wearing a diaper initially but uh, I think Hot Toys fixed that uh, problem and uh, here it's the cape uh, from Hot Toys and uh, I am happy with this cape even though it doesn't flow too well but uh, still not a bad cape for this figure and uh, yeah overall this is a very very accurate interpretation of the Arkham Batman and I am happy with it and he also comes with uh, a few mouthpieces uh, interchangeable mouthpieces and some extra hands and stuff I think that's about it uh, I am still waiting for that uh, Arkham Joker which I'm dying to get uh, to so I could uh, have it next to this Batman here and lastly, since I already made videos for these two, I'm just gonna put them together. These are the Donna Justice uh, Batmans. Uh, the one is Nightmare Batman, which was uh, a scene that uh, was uh, was uh, in during, uh, I think, uh, halfway through the film. You see the suit, and then uh, towards the end, you see the suit. And uh, this was the, the one where he's fighting uh, Superman with. And then uh, now I'm just anxiously waiting for the regular Batsuit uh, uh, from, uh, from uh, Donna Justice. Yeah, so um, these are the two suits. And uh, I am very, very happy with this one because articulation is great. And I'm very, very disappointed in this one because articulation sucks so bad. So yeah, these are the two. But I still really like this uh, design. And uh, this is, this I like too. And there you have it, all my Batmans in one video. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know which is your ba uh, favorite Batman suit. And uh, which Batman figure is your favorite. And uh, yeah, and uh, again, mine would definitely be the 92 Batman right here. From, from, uh, what's his name? Michael Keaton. Yeah. So there you go. Thanks for watching.